The Iranian foreign minister just a few hours ago saying that there would be a decisive immediate response that essentially Israel would regret it. Um, the skies over this city are quiet. There's no sirens going off here. We're not aware of sirens anywhere else in Israel at the moment. Um, we are beginning to get a few more details of uh, the strikes uh, or these explosions, at least as far uh, that we know about now in Isfahan. Northwest of Isfahan is what the uh, Fars news agency in Iran, semi-official news agency there, is reporting. So we are beginning to build up a slow picture and I think a couple of other details to bring into the picture uh, that we've been tracking over the past few hours. Um, flight radar tracking of flights in the skies above Iran have indicated within the past hour or so that flights have been changing their flight paths to avoid uh, Iranian airspace. We're also aware that in the last half an hour or so, a NOTAM, a no-fly uh, declaration has been made for the west of Iran, which would be the side of Iran that uh, if there were Israeli fighter jets on their way into Iranian airspace, they would be coming from uh, potentially from the west of Iran. They could come uh, from the south as well, but perhaps a more di direct, more covert route for them might be. Um, uh, from, from the West. So, so that piece of information, I think, is, is telling and important. And I think what first caught our attention here earlier on this evening, which could be completely unrelated, but a number of small earthquakes were recorded in several Iranian uh, 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 desert locations outside of cities. Now, there's no, um, there's no detailed information that we have about these yet, but, they, but, but this evening, that this sort of gathering picture of uh, strikes or explosions heard in other cities, we know of at least two other cities where the local population that we cannot confirm at the moment, I should stress that, cannot confirm, have reported um, unexplo unexplained explosions. Now, of course, in Iran, people can be concerned about the possibility of, uh, of this impending Israeli airstrike threat, and, and people can misread things that can be as much as an exploding tire on the road outside of where they live. So I stress, all this information has to be tracked down. And of course, Iran, controls the information flow um, inside the country and the internet is not ready available and Twitter is not ready available and, and you know a uh, high-speed uh, cellular network connection is not so ready for people the Iranian government controls that because they want to control the message and information whether it's about protests on the street or the explosions that may be happening in the country so the fact that we're only through the news channels that are sanctioned by the government of Iran hearing about explosions in one city or close to one city Isfahan um, is only is only as far as we can tell at the moment part of the picture of what we think may be happening but it's going to take time for us to look at what we're here look at the details we're getting cross-reference them and, and, and try to get some better clarity on them